Hello, this is Edis. Welcome back to another Unclear 2019 episode. I uh, got six levels this time. I think that brings me up to 36. I'm pretty sure I'm going to cut one out. We'll see how long the video is. The one was fairly lame. Uh, a couple of them are pretty lame, but at least one of them was going to be pretty boring. This one, um... Probably the best one. Uh, there's actually, like, the last one in the video is gonna be a, actually a fairly hard level. Uh, this one, this one's not, not too bad, but it's a, it's, it's a decent level. Uh, the, the hard level is not too bad either. It's actually a pretty good level, but it's a little obnoxious in, in how it's hard, so, uh, I didn't especially like it. This, this one is probably, was my favorite one to play. Uh, I, I actually like 3D World a lot. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite style, but uh, I, I quite enjoy uh, 3D World. Um, a lot of times when I'm looking for unclear levels, I'll, I'll pick 3D World exclusively. Uh, I'm doing these all random though, so... Yeah, this is a Japanese uh, 3D World level. A lot of the times those are kind of hot garbage. This one is not too bad. I will say, I, I am never a big fan of these bullets coming out in 3Ds, uh, in 3D, uh, cause I can never tell when I'm supposed to jump on them, and, and that's the premise of this part. Uh, this is actually a very short level too, it's only, I think it only took me like 30 seconds, I, I don't think I looked at the upload time. Here's a little, uh, the second section is a little thwomp puzzle. Uh, there's, I don't know, six, uh, four or five layers of thwomps that I have to get through. Uh, gotta slide them around so I can get through. I'm just gonna cut back to there because the first section is... I'll, I'll show the first section one time more when I beat it. But we'll just cut back to here a few times. Yeah, the, the, the rough cut of this, uh, level was about nine minutes long and I cut about five minutes out of it, so four or five minutes out of it. Yeah, it's just just getting up there. Um, it was fun to figure out. Uh, I've I've played levels like this before. Uh, I tried a few different things before I got it. I played some really hard levels like this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I swear I swear to God, this was the first level I played in about a, a week. I hadn't touched the game in about a week, and uh, <laughs> I swear to God, my controller was not working on this part a lot. Like, it, it kept messing up. I kept messing up, obviously, but it... Actually, my controller, I think, I think it might have some drift to it, too, so... I usually use a, a third-party controller, um... Like a pro controller, but... It's third-party, so sometimes it's kind of crappy. Uh, and they break pretty easily, like... <clears throat> I've gone through about a dozen of them since I've gotten this game. Uh... This was the first game I actually had to get another controller for. I, I had used the, uh, the, um, what, what do you call them that come with the system? The, the little ones. <laughs> I used the plastic, uh, uh, plastic thing and connect them. Uh, but those, uh, little buttons are hard on your fingers. Uh, I swear they're, the system is made for three-year-olds. With their tiny hands. <laughs> I never did, I just, I'm, I could afford a pro controller, I'm just cheap, so I buy the, uh, the third party ones from Walmart or wherever. Okay, final run. I've gotten the idea now, I just have to execute it. Just go from one side, trigger each, each thwomp, uh, individually, the little guy up here, the last layer is little. I got crushed on the side by these guys before. Almost fell off and had to do it over again. Yep, that's all it is. Easy peasy. Um, took me 17 lives. It had. <coughs> Excuse me, it had, um, uh, like 67 tries before I got there and I had 84 afterwards, so. Pretty, pretty good. Um, I would say that's probably only an expert level. <laughs> and I would have lost all my lives to it. <laughs> Alright, on to level 2. 
one dumb level, one Kaizo block. And boy, is he not lying about this being a dumb level. <laughs> it's basically a small precision level. I am not a big fan of precision. Um, so once in a great while, I'll find one that I enjoy. Or one that's weird enough. This one's actually kind of weird, but it's not um, It's not that interesting either. Um, <clears throat> the first jump over the saws, I, I figure if I hit that claw at the correct angle, maybe I can swing up to the next claw. Um, that's not what's actually happening. Uh, the, the one Kaizo block mentioned in the title is right up above this claw. Um, right to the right up of this claw. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I'm just trying to find a way in there to, to get a good angle so I can jump, but it, that's not what I'm supposed to do anyway. Eventually I'll land in it and, and take a flying leap and bam, right, right, hit the Kaizo block, fall right in the pit. <clears throat> right there. I hit the Kaizo block. I'm like... Oh, well, I'm not gonna boo it yet. It's not, uh... He warned me. Gave me ample warning. I don't like this jump into the claw, but it's not too bad. Here we hit the Kaizo block, land back on the claw, swing right back into the grinders. I'm not quite annoyed at it enough to boo it yet, but it's getting closer. I, I don't even think I get past the... Yeah, I think maybe... <laughs> I don't even get past this part before I just get mad about it. And I don't know, it's it's just an annoying setup. Yeah, I, I just don't like it. <clears throat> I imagine the other 11 people who had played it before me thought the same thing. If they even found the Kaizo block. The solution is to land back on the claw and jump immediately. You want to get on top of that Kaizo block. Now you can jump, and that's that's the only Kaizo block, at least, that i found. Well, no, that's not true. There are some near the end. They're not super unfair. They don't... They don't screw you over too bad, anyway. The worst thing about this level is, is coming up right after this, uh, this part. There's a, a, a little donut section that's just really annoying. I... I think I ended up dying, like, 60 times on this freaking level. <laughs> And, uh, 40, maybe 40, I can't remember. Uh, but it was a lot of lives, and, and I would say half of them are to this first jump, and about the other half are trying to get through this donut section right here. I, I uh, donut, I call it, I always call them donuts. They're bumpers, is what they are. Donuts are actually right after this. But yeah, so you, you bounce off the one, and you hit the, the bottom one, you hit the top one, and then you bounce right into the pit. Uh, you can, I do at least once, I get over top, there you go, right on top, very hard to do. Uh, then I get to this, this next part, and I see, I see the end of the stage, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it, and I fail. Uh, I think, I, I, I think if I had held right a little harder, I might have got onto the land. The, the actual solution to the bumper is just not to jump at all, you'll bounce right through. Now you hit the top one, you fall right on the donuts. So I didn't, I don't know if I even noticed this checkpoint before, but I followed the coins and there's a checkpoint. Here's the other Kaizo blocks. Uh, kind of blocking me out from the end. And here's another here's another precision part, jump over the piranha plant. I'm not very good at this, uh, and I die. This next try, I actually almost make that and I'm thinking, I think I can make that jump without hitting the Kai. If I don't hit the Kaizo blocks, I think it's over. There, I waited a little too long and <laughs> jumped. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can make that jump fine. Um, I think I, if I had one more try, I probably could have gotten it, but it doesn't matter because I could jump right to the goal. Um, I'm not sure if he knew that or, or whatever. Yep, that is a dumb level. I agree. Okay, on to level three. A Woomy's Journey. Uh, this one is some hot garbage. I think it wants to be a troll level. Uh, it's only troll, it's only move is Kaizo Block. Kaizo Block, wherever you're gonna jump, there's a Kaizo Block. 
and blind jumps abound. Actually, there's there's two parts that have uh, terrible blind jumps. Right here is, is the first. I give this one no no ability to recover from this beginning. It's just garbage. Um, takes me a, a couple of tries to get it down where this one block that I have to land on is. Uh, I mean, I'm, I even start the level, I think it's just because it's a ghost house, I assume, that's probably full of crap, so I test for Kaizo blocks immediately. But, you know, I mean, how am I going to know not to land on the, or t that I have to land on that one space? More Kaizo blocks here, everywhere. Um, yeah, this is just not unclever, completely just lame. Uh, the other one, the one that I'm going to cut out, I think, uh, is even worse than this. And uh, It's actually not, it's about the same, I would say. Uh, so so to watch it twice is not going to be that much fun. But it's, it, I, I would say it's even worse. There's nothing at all interesting. There's at least a couple of spots in this that look like it could be a level. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, every, every spot I just assume there's a Kaizo block. There's not, but there are in most places. And here's the other here's the other spot that just I already had booted, so this is this would be my double boo right here. I mean, what how am I supposed to know? Uh, it, it takes me a few tries to get there too. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna try to pause buffer, but I don't even have that much room to to fall before I I hit the pause button. I'm dead. Here we go. And here's a here's a checkpoint at least, uh, so I don't have to do this all over again. And I actually didn't cut anything from here on, although I, I hit the same Kaizo block like three times like an idiot. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking or doing. I, at this point, I just want to finish this stupid level. I'm trying to hit it and then get on top of it, because uh, I, I do I I realize I would immediately die to that thwomp if I hit the skull platform. Yeah, one. <laughs> I think I died twice here. I already did it once before, so three times on the same block. Yeah, the. I don't know who thinks this kind of thing is clever. I mean, I think I think it's a, a slightly above a, a, a child's level, but do you really find this? Do you find this fun to play? Um, woman who made this, girl who made this. I don't know. Uh, Maybe it's fun to watch other people die. I, w I was so afraid to jump anyway. And I didn't even think, but there could have been Kaizo blocks down there, too. Uh, she missed that opportunity, I guess. Um, soft lock me and make me start all over. Yep, piece of, piece of crap level. I give it a seriously. It really isn't even deserving of that uh, that much credit. Just a, just a low brain trill level. Okay, level four. Some Japanese level. Uh, yeah, this one is... Uh, I, I labeled this Japanese hot garbage when I played it. Um, maybe a little overkill. It's not that bad, but it's not that good either. Uh, What I really don't like about it is that it kind of forces you to wait with these munchers. I can't jump right away. So I have to wait for those guys to go back up. Then I have to ride the thwomps over very slowly so each one falls. You can run under the thwomps and jump, but uh, there's a Kaizo block at the end of that aisle. So you end up falling into the pit. So yeah, every, every life... Slow moving. I, I try there. I did a Z jump so I didn't hit the Kaizo block, but I can't make it with that. <clears throat> this level, um, this level has two sections. The first section is, is pretty garbagey. The second section is a little better. Uh, yeah, I already don't trust this level very much. Um, by the time I get over here where the big thwomp is, there's an arrow to the right. I don't trust that at all. 
Uh, so I immediately try to ride the thwomp upward. I figure that that's more likely correct. I mean, there's nothing I can even jump to over there. I don't know what he wants me to jump to anyway. Just to a, a pit and death, really. Hit this on-off switch, because why not? Um, turns out that it was a good idea. As soon as I get past this Koopa, there's a bridge that gets built. Grab the Koopa shell, because, you know, you're, you're gonna want it, right? And then we meet probably my least favorite enemy in the game, the Hammer Bros. They're just, uh, just annoying, and there's a lot of them from both sides. Uh, how am I supposed to dodge that? I don't know. It took me a while to figure out. Uh, the middle didn't seem to work, so I'm going to try the left side. And I'm thinking, how am I going to survive this? Something's going to hit me eventually, and it does. I do see that I absolutely need this Koopa shell. There's a, a brick that I have to smack down at the bottom here. Almost made it. Uh, not quite, though. Too many hammers flying around. How am I supposed to dodge that? Uh, the best idea turns out to stay to the right. Still likely to get hit, but at least uh, when I fall down, I'll be right against that brick so I can throw the shell. Hit the checkpoint. And I'm treated to a fall to my death. Why would you even do that? I mean, that's just rude. Guys will block with a mushroom in it. I really want that mushroom. Um, but I don't get it. Hit the on off switch and the helmet falls right on my head. I'm like, I hope I need the helmet and not a shell. And nope, I need the shell. So here I'm dead. But, you know, I'm not too far from the checkpoint, so who cares? Jump to my death. <laughs> Instead, I'll let the spikes kill me. I think this is the one life where I actually get the mushroom. Uh, I almost wanted to replay the video because <laughs> I couldn't remember how I got it. I, got, I mostly just got lucky there. Um, and then I jump over here. And I immediately lose it. <laughs> well, that was a nice mushroom while it lasted. Then I get super excited and throw the shell too quick, and I know I lost. So, there you go. Round three. Still too excited. Throw it a little too early. And I get blocked off. Die. Whoops. Of course, I probably cut out a lot of deaths on this one. I don't remember. Um, I did die quite a few times on this level. It's it's not an easy one. Check out what's to the left. It's just some chain chomps. We're fine. They're not gonna... Nothing else over there. And I forgot what was down this pit. <laughs> I followed the coin trail. I could have easily remembered, but I, didn't. I wasn't looking. Yeah, at least I don't have to go through the Hammer Bros section again. That's the worst part of this level. Never did figure out what was down that pipe. It's, it's got to be nothing because uh, this is the correct way, it turns out. Uh, there was no nothing else that I could have done except go this way. Yeah, this, this uh, ha second half isn't too bad. Uh, at least there's no real enemy spam. I mean, there's a lot of enemies, but they're easy enough to avoid. I mean, I don't avoid them. I die. So, <laughs> we'll get back there. It's not that, not that hard. I, I think I died way more on the first section than I did on, on this section. Out uh, in the third section, um bunch of thwomps. Let's see what's over here. Uh, I didn't react fast enough to realize that they all had parachutes. Didn't know which way they were all gonna go. Apparently the little ones go right. The big ones. <coughs> the big ones go down. So we're back to this section and... 
Let's ride these swamps. Almost get hit by the big one, but I narrowly avoid it. And I see the goal, and there we are. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I boot it for earlier reasons, but yeah, I, I mean, it's not a terrible level, just not a good one either. On to level five. Uh, Chase the bullet, super expert. Boy, he's not kidding about that. Uh, this is the hardest level I've played since the uh, the Thwomp sh riding shenanigans. Um, over 200 tries uh, when I start. It, ta it takes me nearly 200 more lives to get it, but mo I will say mostly 90% of the challenge. Uh, let's let's say 70% of the challenge is this first jump is so annoying, so spiky. <laughs> You bar you, there's barely any room to move without hitting, hitting a spike. And you have to wait. And I hate waiting. I probably died a hundred times on this on this part alone. Uh, Cause if you're if you're too far to the left, you hit that spike and die. And it's it's very hard to jump over these spikes on the right. If you jump at the wrong angle, you hit the spikes on the ceiling. Yeah, I I am not a fan of this. I even got hit by the fire bar a couple of times. Not surprised no one could beat this one. I mean, it turns out it's not super. There's one other really hard part coming up. <laughs> but look how, how long it takes me to get past this part. I probably even cut out a few deaths here. Um, even, even the last several attempts, I probably died three times on this section. I never got that good at it. It's just... It's just the setup is just poor. Unnecessarily hard, I think. Over spiking your level. <laughs> We've all seen that before. We've probably all done it, too. You get past that, it's not too bad. That's that's the bullet I'm supposed to be riding. Of course, I missed the, the other bonsais. Fall to my death. Eventually, I'll start cutting right back there, but I'll, I'll, I'll spend one more life showing this part. But yeah, I'm sure I, I probably died five times every every time at that beginning. Hard to hit that one skull platform. Um, the secret turns out to be make sure you spawn the first downward-facing bonsai before you start, uh, spawn the second. If you stay back a little, it gives you more room. If you spawn them both at the same time, the second one is, uh, hard to catch. Now, this is the part that's legitimately really hard, is, uh, I'm not very good at bomb ladders, first of all. But it's, you, you have to avoid popping up really high, obviously, because there's spikes. <clears throat> and you have to hit the, hit, make sure you hit the bomb to the right, because obviously you want to blow up that wall. And it's just really hard to get yourself over there after you've gotten the bomb over there. Now here's the first the first time I've seen past that, and I wasn't sure where to go, and I kind of stopped, and I shouldn't stop. Yeah, I died a lot on this bomb lighter too. Yeah, I show at least one of those where I bounce off. Yeah, I'd, I'd say another quarter to a third of my life's there. Yep. Uh, he indicates it well enough, uh, but I didn't quite get it right here. What he wanted me to do is actually not very hard. <laughs> I didn't get here. I didn't get there that many times before I beat it, but um, my my next thought was I could cheese it by doing a six shell jump. Here's where, here's where I try that. <laughs> and I'm th I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't think I can actually make this shell jump. I, I thought about actually <coughs> shell jumping onto the bullet. But yeah, that's way too hard. I don't think I could have made that. And I was too slow there. But that's what I'm supposed to do, is go up. 
here's the final run. Yeah, it's only a 30 second level, but it is very hard. There's a lot of stuff that can kill you. You gotta be pretty, uh, pretty precise with your jumps. Yeah, the, the rough video for this was 40 minutes long. There we go. Almost bopped that bonsai. That would have been bad. And there we are, through the goal. Yeah, if it weren't for that initial setup, I, I... Actually, it's not a bad level. That initial setup is just annoying, though. Unnecessarily difficult. Of course, it would have been cleared if it, if it were easier. 